Today we've got another tech tutorial here and what we're going to do today is we're going to install more RAM on this laptop as well as installing a M.2 SSD. This is the Inspiron 15 5000 series. This does have a M.2 slot. At the moment it only has a 2.5 inch hard drive inside here and only four gigs of RAM. So we're gonna double the RAM with this Samsung four gigabyte DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM here. And then we have a Kingston 256 M.2 SSD. All we, need, all we need to do is have a Phillips screwdriver and a pry tool. I'm going to flip it on its backside, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws at the back here. Don't worry, we're not going to break any factory seal stickers. So that's kind of good. Let's just go ahead and remove all these screws at the base of the laptop. Only one of these screws are smaller than the rest. I think that was the middle one here. Once all the screws are out, we'll flip the laptop over, open up the lid, get your pry tool or something flat, ideally a plastic one, and then just go around the edges. Just be careful not to scratch the laptop itself, and you'll hear where it's clicking into place. And then just go around the sides here. Hinge is where you kind of want to be careful. One more screw there. There we go, the back of the laptop is now off. We see the 2.5 inch hard drive there. I think that's a two terabyte. And then there's another slot for the RAM here. And the M.2 is located right here. First thing we're going to install this DDR4 laptop RAM. This is PC4 2400 
TSC0-11 made by Samsung but any other branded one with the same specs will work for this so this just slots in here making sure the metal clasps here are secure now we have our SSD Kingston 256GB uh, NVMe this will work both with this style pins and also the one where it's only one side has has one missing pin this will work for both of those I'm just going to take off the screw up here should be in Now in there securely. I'm just going before I put all the screws back in. I'm going to make sure BIOS reads this. I'm on the BIOS now. We just need to find where our SSD is if it's reading the SSD. So we've got eight gigs of RAM now instead of four. in the SSD I might need to just mess around with that again all right so under BIOS we have now securely put the SSD in it wasn't fully um, flush with the pins so that's why it wasn't reading but we do have the information here now so with our Windows 10 USB boot drive we can install Windows 10 fresh on the SSD so what we need to do now is just boot this via the USB drive All right, so I pressed F12 to get onto the secure boot menu. What we need to do is boot to the SanDisk USB drive because that has the um, Windows 10 installation and it's a 64-bit. This should just have Windows Home Edition on here, which is exactly the same one that came with this laptop.
we're just going to do a fresh install Concept, go on next. Okay, so I have fully formatted the Kingston 256 SSD. It's now formatted to the correct format. And now we're going to install Windows 10, which shouldn't take too long. There we go guys, we have Windows 10 Home Edition installed on the M.2 SSD, I think it's working fine. So that is it guys, that is how you upgrade your Inspiron 15 5000 series. Okay, don't let me hold you up, just pick the one you want from the list. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys and I'll see you again on another one.